I'm Byron Velvet. You're watching Future Pro Tour on Comcast Sportsnet. The $250,000 Summer Toys Giveaway is heating up the summer fun at Thunder Valley Casino. We're awarding big cash prizes and some super cool summer toys in July. You could win a pair of Yamaha ATVs or a pair of Yamaha Wave Runners every Friday and Saturday night at 8. Then, two grand prize winners will each take home a boat of the year, a Yamaha Sport Boat at the July 31st Grand Finale. Play with your Thunder Club card or visit Capital Yamaha Sacramento for free entries. Why play anywhere else? Thunder Valley Casino. California Delta has a variety of thick grassy areas that hold big fish and having the right trolling motor to get through this heavy cover is critical. We've been cutting through a lot of these, these uh, thick grass and thick meat beds. How are you liking the Minn Kota Four Tracks? I love it Vince. It's, it's a step up from the Maxim. Okay. Um, they created a new bracket. Squeaks a lot less. It's, uh, I think it's a lot quieter, less vibration on the shaft in the water, mm -hmm. and um, it's got that same lift assist mechanism. It allows you to pick up the motor and extend it super easily. Wow, I mean, look, at look just a couple fingers, and it's down. It looks like it's that heavy gauge steel, that, that uh, oh, aluminum, yeah. that uh, makes it just sturdy. Yep, and the cool thing is, it has the same bolt pattern for mounting as the Maxim does. Okay. Oh or the competition. So if you want to change over, you don't have to drill new holes in your boat. It'll fit. All right, good. I was wondering about that because it looks like we were cutting through that, cutting through that stuff pretty easy. Oh yeah. And making it, make yeah. it happen. And a lot of guys like these bounce busters because in really heavy water, sometimes this part of the mount will come down and hit the top of your okay. uh, gunnel and it'll chip your paint. The new Minn Kota Fortrex comes with this bounce buster, oh, okay, so you don't have to buy it as an okay. accessory. Really cool Good stuff. deal, good deal. Let's go see if we can find another area and break this delta down a little bit further. It's later in the day, the tide's fallen. How do we break down riprap? This is riprap. How do we break that down, Charlie? Same thing. Like earlier today, we're looking for current, hitting a riprap bank with a good combination of tule and weed pockets. And right along here, what happens is uh, there's real heavy current hitting that corner, but it's starting to lighten up a bit. And as it does, the weed beds grow thicker with more pockets. So they're going to be in this section from here to that corner, about a 100-yard dash section. And um, we're cranking right through it using crawdad color crankbaits and rattle traps. Anything in Delta Craw or black seems to work best. Okay, now are these schooling fish or are these... Uh... We, can you find some big fish in here? Or what? Oh, what? Abso absolutely. As the tide has dropped out, a lot of fish have dropped off the flats across the way here, and they'll move on to these deeper riprap walls where they feel a little bit safer. And they just hide between the weed pockets and wait for the tide to wash by food, and they ambush it, and it's usually a crankbait that triggers the strike. Okay, let's start and let's see if we can get some crankbait fish. where he should be. This was the very beginning of where the deep water started to shallow out. The current softened up and the fish is right on the point of weeds. See how it's got a point? There he is. Oh, there, right there. <laughs> there he is. Keep the rod tipped in. There he is. 
Got it. All right. All right. So All right. See, Vince, see how that fish was in the perfect spot? Yeah. There's a lot of pipes in the delta that come off the riprap bank. Okay. It was right off that, and there's a just a perfect cone for him. You got a tule clump there, rocks, weed patches, pipe. That's why he's there. Okay. They picked the prime ambush spots, and did a great job with that one. Wow. Finally, got a fish that was worthy of calling some good. Vince, another good pattern on the delta is fishing any docks that are out here. I was going to ask you about that. I've been seeing a lot of docks, and I don't know. On Clear Lake, docks are productive. They are they just that productive on the uh, delta? Tell yeah, us a little are. bit about docks. Well, they are, and again, it depends on where they are in relation to the current and uh, the weed line. And this one we're fishing right here happens to be sitting right where the weed line drops off. And again, it, the tide is falling out, so these fish are coming off of this flat and suspending underneath this dock in the shade to stay cool in that summertime okay. heat. Yeah, because it's hot out here. Uh, that's where I would be. <laughs> and what I'm using is um, a new version of a swim bait. It's called a Revo Shad, made by Reaction Strike. And um, it's a really nice, slow falling reaction bait. And right now it's imitating the size of the forage. This is baby bass color, and, um, which is a hot color on the Delta, by the way. And uh, it's got a real natural action, something they really haven't seen before and I can really control the fall rate so uh, I can uh, get it down to them or keep it up high if they're right underneath the edge of the dot and I can let it drop further if they're down at the bottom of the weed line. It's a cool bait. There's one Vince. He came Double. out. There's a whole bunch of them suspended on the duck right over there. Oh, he sure is. I'm looking at them right See them all? They're falling. See that one just falling? There you go. There you go. He's not bad. Yep. Yeah, okay. Got him? There we go. All right, wow. You really make <laughs> This thing works, man. They come out and eat that thing. Wow. Man, Charlie, it has been an absolute great day here on the Delta. We didn't catch a lot of big fish, but we accomplished what we set out to do, and that is to break down the Delta from A to Z. We've covered docks, we've covered uh, punching, we've covered rip rap and the title changes. Thanks for being a part of this, and we really appreciate you being part of Future Pro Tech. Stay tuned for more. We'll have more of these Future Pro Tech uh, shows like this. We hope you enjoyed this show. And come on out and join one of our Future Pro Tour events. Our next event coming up is August 15th on the Delta. Take care, everybody. Good fishing. Thanks, guys. Good luck out there. Many half-ton trailer hitches on the road look like this. Here's the one you want. That's the biggest toad in the puddle. Available on the all-new full-size Tundra. Learn more at toyota.com. What makes a work truck beautiful? Guts. Available on the all-new full-size Tundra. Learn more at toyota.com. This has been Future Pro Tech. The On the Water instructional series designed to help you better understand today's technology and improve on your competitive edge. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Thunder Valley Casino Future Pro Tour. The Future Pro Tour has been brought to you by Ranger Boats, Evan Rude, Snag Proof. Navionics, Toyota Trucks, Lucky Craft, and these fine sponsors.